Hi everyone, this video is going to center on section 5-7, Operations of Mixed Numbers. Um, it'll be from a series uh, that'll cover a few problems from these sections. And of course, what I would encourage you to do is please read through the textbook and look through those examples that have been, that have been provided for you there as well. In this case, we're going to perform a division of 6.5 divided by 2 and 3 fourths. So what I want you to note here is we've already divided with fractions before we should have that process already outlined. Um, what's different is that we are now dealing with mixed numbers. So m the best way to approach a problem like this would be to convert your mixed numbers into improper fractions. So if you recall, we would basically be taking the numerator and multiplying it with our whole number. So that's going to give us 6 times 2. And when we're done with that, we are going to add it to our numerator. And again, our new fraction will still be under the same denominator that we started off with. So let's go ahead and repeat that. So we know that the other fraction that we're going to work with will have the denominator of 4. We're going to take our numerator, or sorry, our denominator, excuse me, and multiply it by our whole number. And then we're going to add that to the numerator. So when we clean this all up, we should get 13 halves divided by 11 fourths. And from here, now that we just have fractions, in other words, we don't have a whole number hanging out in front, we're able to go ahead and use the same approach that we had discussed in previous sections. So in this situation then, we would say, I'm going to skip my first fraction. I'm going to flip or take the reciprocal of my second fraction. And that's going to make allow me uh, to multiply. So from here, you could go ahead and immediately multiply the numerator across and multiply the denominator across. But what I would encourage you to do is double check to see if there's anything that you can reduce. So what I'm noticing here is that I have a 2 in the denominator and a 4 in the numerator. So I'm able to reduce these. So I could divide both of these by 2 or reduce them by a factor of 2. That's going to leave me with a 1 in the denominator and a 2 in the numerator. And now we can go ahead and multiply across. 13 times 2 would result in 26. 1 times 11 would give you 11. Now, since this problem was presented to you using mixed numbers, you should go ahead and convert your value back into a mixed number. So again, if you need a refresher on that, remember that this is our dividend, and this is our divisor. So we can use our long division notation in order to uncover the value. So we could, divisor goes outside, dividend goes inside. 11 can go into 26 two whole times. So 2 times 11 is going to give me 22. And when we remove that, we're going to have 4 left over. So to present this, I used 2 whole, 2 whole times, so I could use 11 two whole times, that's how I should be saying that. And then I had a remainder of 4 out of the 11 that we're working with. So this is my final answer. If you do have any questions, please let me know.